There are 470 auctions on Bring a Trailer at the time of this recording. Next week, there will be 470 different listings. So what can you do to make your listing stand out? Originally, this video was gonna be me identifying what I think will be Bring a Trailer photo trends for 2022. But as I got into it, I realized that these are not trends. The vast majority of listings on the site are gonna look similar to one another, inevitably, because they're all showing cars shot from the front three quarter angle view, and there's only so much you can do to really mix that up. But there are a few things, and we're gonna talk about those today. I looked at the lead photo for tons of auctions and looked at the emails from Bring a Trailer, let's just say that from here on out, where they highlight the most popular auctions on the site each month. And that's how I arrived at three techniques based on what stood out to me. Now it's still important to have a nicely shot, evenly toned photo set, but today we're talking about how you can have a killer lead image, just the thumbnail. I have other thoughts on good practice for the rest of the photo set, and you can watch that uh, here, I think. So the first one of these is car to car. There's nothing new about shooting car to car photos, nothing new about doing them for bad but it's still very uncommon on the site. And it's a great way to have an exciting and unconventional photo for that critical lead thumbnail image. This modified DeLorean and Porsche 924 Carrera GTR were some of the only listings I saw that had car to car images. They were two of the most popular listings of the past year. If you're just scanning through thumbnails, the motion blurred background and road surface of these listings will capture your attention. I do happen to have a tutorial for car to car rolling shots, but that's not why I picked it. The second one is long exposure. There are some sellers on bat doing really cool stuff with light painting, uh, which absolutely counts for this, but I'm more interested in the daytime long exposures. This BMW M1 listing caught my eye. It's probably just a half a second exposure, but the movement of that train uh, grabbed my attention and made this auction more interesting and more dynamic. I hate the word dynamic. In my graphic design days, sometimes an account person or client would ask me to make something dynamic. You could ask them what they meant by that and they couldn't tell you. They couldn't tell you the answer. It is a nonsense buzzword. It is marketing speak. It does not have meaning. Anyway, I guess in a photo where there's movement, maybe, maybe it works here, but it does not, like not in an ad, not in a layout. So that was long exposure. This technique doesn't require a studio, just a little bit of planning, and it instantly shows that you put some thought and care into the photo set. Aside from trains, you could try having other moving things behind the car, like cars or city streets or windmills, I don't know. Now this last one is probably the easiest that anyone can do. Just find a higher perspective and shoot the car from a little bit above. I'm talking higher than eye level, but lower than a drone. I always like to show an unusual viewpoint, and this is a really simple way of showing the typical front three quarter view in an eye catching way. The vast majority of listings are from super low because cars look really good from super low. But I like how the higher perspective shows the viewer more of the car, it fills more of that rectangular image. And I know that I said, previously, like don't fill the entire frame with the car. Don't ever fill your frame edge to edge with the car you're shooting. If you're trying to create something artistic, don't fill the entire frame. Don't do that on Instagram either. But for, for your selling photo, like yeah, bring a trailer is just gonna crop it that way anyway. <laughs> and it also makes the car prominent in the image because there's, there's almost no background. It's just the pavement beneath the car. I shot this 996 GT3 from sort of like, it was half a level above uh, in an empty parking structure. And the elevated perspective really highlights the curves of the car. I also love the contrast between the shiny silver car and the gritty concrete texture beneath it. So those are my non-trends for BAT in 2022 that 1% 1 of people will do, but that's why I see this as a great opportunity to stand out. If you don't do any of these, you can still have an amazing listing. I'm not saying these are the only ways to have a good listing, not at all. These are just sort of, these are just like hacks to stand out from the other 470 listings on the site. I don't even do these every time, but it's something I will try to do whenever I can going forward. You never want the photography to be a distraction, but I think these techniques will only enhance your listing and will give your lead image the maximum impact.
So I think sometimes I try to be really comprehensive on a particular subject and cover too many things in one video. So I'm doing a two-parter about Bring a Trailer, two videos. The other one will be what I've learned shooting 25 bat listings, how I've changed up my techniques since making that first video about shooting a bat listing in 2020. So please stay tuned for that. That is all. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I will see you next time.